Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Carrie Dillon. We're joined by Dr. Brad today, Brad Morris from Rejuvenate Health. Good morning. It's so good to have you. Thank you. Um, so you all opened about a year ago. Yeah. And if there's sort of an umbrella to sort of put your business under, for the most part, people were really coming to you for, um, for neuropathy. Mm -hmm. And you guys were just booming. We were. Absolutely booming with that. <laughs> and that sort of became a focus. Yes, it did. Coronavirus hits. Everything's at a screeching halt. Yeah, um, well, you know, luckily we didn't come to a complete halt. Yeah, um, oh, you're still able to see so people. So we're still able to see pay people because we're, you know, we're considered essential. Um, but of course, now we've had to take lots of parameters. Of course. Um, we're taking everybody's temperature when they hit the door. Nice. We got gloves and masks, and we sanitize between every patient. Uh, and we're keeping the patients a little further apart. Luckily, we have a, enough room to, to be able to do that. But yeah, sure. nothing like it was before. The well, last time we talked, it was really booming. Yeah. Absolutely. And you were seeing fantastic results with people, of course, which is why Absolutely. you're completely booming and just yep. completely jam-packed booked. Now, we're going to talk today a little bit about regenerative medicine, mm -hmm. um, which is another one of your specialties. And we're going to talk about something that might be a little controversial for some, but there are a lot of studies on it, and I'm, I'm going to ask you about those as well. But we're talking about um, UV therapy, ultraviolet blood radiation therapy, and ozone therapy. Correct. So let's talk a little bit about those. Define them for anybody who might not know what they are. Right. So ozone therapy has been around since the 40s. Um, yes, yeah, so nothing new. Nothing new. This nothing is nothing new. new and there's a lot of research on just ozone therapy. Um, and what it is, it's oxygen with another free radical, so O3, that's ozone. Um, ultraviolet light blood radiation been around even longer. Uh, and what they do with that is they'll pull the blood out of the patient and then they're going to run that blood through an ultraviolet light and then back into the patient. Um, a few years ago, quite a few years ago, they decided to put them together, and what they found was they were getting even better results. What what does the ultraviolet light do to the blood that makes it, um, and, and what does this do? This bolsters the immune system. It, it does. It's okay. an immune modulator. So what we're doing with that is it's going to basically cleanse the blood. So now you, you have, uh, for lack of a better term, super blood. And when that goes back into your body, it's going to cause your immune system to ramp up. So it's uh, it's all about how strong is the host, not how strong is the germ. I think that is so important. It is not about the strength of the virus per se, or, or the malady, or the the illness. It's the strength of the immune system. That's right. And so bolstering that is one of the most important things that somebody could do. Absolutely, absolutely. And there's so many things that, that people can do to get their immune system. I mean, just eating correctly is going to cause yeah, your immune system Yeah, talk a little bit about that. Out. I mean, you know, they, you guys offer like a, a, a therapy um, that is medically based, right. you know, but somebody who, um, what else can you do on top of that? Um, well, I mean, first and foremost, let's not beat up the system. So eating good, clean food. Yeah. What is good, clean food? That's probably a whole nother topic. A whole nother topic, yeah. Yeah, but um, eating healthy, eating lots of dark green leafies, that's probably the best food for you there. Sure. Um, supplementing with vitamins, vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, uh, B vitamins, all those are going to strengthen your immune system. Yeah. Uh, and so... You even even if you do have a, a nice strong host in going in and doing O3 UV, you're even boosting it even higher. Sure. So we have a lot of patients that are doing it just for wellness. Of course, I do it for just wellness. Yeah. Because uh, I want to make sure that my immune system's as strong as it can possibly be. Uh, that's absolutely before what you, the coronavirus. What you want to do. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about um, what uh, go through the the process a little bit more about the blood irradiation and um, is is this something preventative or is this something that you can also do like let's say God forbid somebody winds up diagnosed with the coronavirus. Is this something that you can do to help? Yeah, so in our office, we have been using it for um, patients that, that have some type of condition, whether it be an autoimmune condition, uh, a big one is Lyme disease. Um, but You're seeing now, results with Lyme disease. Oh, yeah. We get, like, nobody can find results with right, Lyme disease. Right, right. And this has probably been one of the biggest is Lyme disease. I had a lot of friends that were doing just ozone. Yeah. And I'm like, guys, you got to add the ultraviolet light, blood radiation. That seems to be the home run. Um, but because of the virus, now we're having patients coming in going, will this keep me stronger? And absolutely. So to answer your question, yes, to both. So you can do it as a prevention or you can use it to treat. Wow. So um, blood irradiation. Talk a little bit about that process. Ultraviolet blood irradiation. That's yep. been around a long time it's as been, well. It's been around longer than ozone, actually. 
Um, so what that does is you're going to just pull the blood from the patient. And then so it's an IV blood, type thing. Yeah, it's an okay. IV. So they'll pull the blood out of the patient, and you put it in a saline bag. How much do you, do you take out? It's 60 cc's, which sounds like a lot, but it's what, very little. What is that? Like a cup? Um, is it like it's about this long and about that big around. So if so I were poured into a, uh, give me a measurement that I can wrap my brain around. Um, I would have to go, <laughs> you're testing me now. <laughs> quarter cup? Yeah, three, quarter cup Okay, quarter max, cup of blood. Okay. Or maybe, maybe That's a not hair, a lot. No, it's not a lot at all. And you mix it with the saline, and now you add the ozone into the saline. And then that's going to go back through the ultraviolet light machine okay. and then into the you. So that's where that super blood comes from. How long does that take? Um, it's usually about a 30-minute process. Okay. Yeah, it's just like getting an IV drip. So, um, you know, you've seen people get in the vitamin drips. Yeah. Yep, it's similar to that. Um, this goes a little faster than some of the vitamins because the vitamins will, will tend to burn a little bit. But this is about a 30-minute treatment, you know, from start to finish. 30 minutes start to finish. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy. It is. And it's all done in one shot. All done in one shot. Now, if you were sick, yeah. you would do more. Gotcha. Right, but it's in the same day or just um, like no, okay. daily. So how how frequently would you come to just to basically get that immune system up? Um, usually we start them with once a week, um, and you know we're going to evaluate the patient, right? Because some people come in and they don't know what their immune system looks like. Ah. Right. So they're like, oh, I'm I'm healthy as a horse. And we start talking to them and asking them a few questions. And we find like oh, you're not even as healthy as you think you are. Wow. Um, so we may recommend a little bit more frequent if you're sick, and then depending on your symptoms. That's when we're going to go, okay, we'll see you tomorrow or maybe uh -huh. we'll wait a day, depending on the symptomatology coming out. So I think anybody who, I, I'm one of those people, like you just struck a chord with me. I'm going to, I totally got to come and see. I've been meaning to come and see you anyway, just to like see where I'm at. But to know, because I feel like I'm one of those really pretty healthy people, but it would be really good to know, you know, uh, where I stand yeah, with some of these things. How strong are you? Yeah, let's yeah. find out. Let's yeah. totally find out. It's so good to spend some time with you. Great to Rejuvenate see you Health, Dr. Brad, so good to be with you. And get in touch, set up an appointment. Y'all are still seeing people on a yep. smaller level, but bolster those immune systems, folks. I mean, it's the best thing you possibly do. Absolutely. We'll be right back with more Talk of the Town.